Capricorn, this will happen in the next 48 hours for January the 15th through January the 16th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for January the 15th through January the 16th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Capricorn for January the 15th through January the 16th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Capricorn for January the 15th through January the 16th, 2023. Show me. Happy birthday, Capricorn. Happy birthday. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Capricorn. Capricorn, these are your cards, honey. So, Capricorn, you have the Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone, in my own right, am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that you're independently abundant on your own or you're single. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. For Capricorn, clarify the Nine of Pentacles. For Capricorn, clarify the Nine of Pentacles. For Capricorn, it is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a Ten, so this is an ending, an ending and betrayal, Capricorn. So Capricorn, listen, you can tell me that you're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. However, in tarot, tens are ending, so you could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. So Capricorn, either you're feeling a sense of betrayal due to your coins here, okay? However, you could also tell me that because of this betrayal, you're wanting to be single. Capricorn, you have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leora, Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leora, Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters. Moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Now, because of this betrayal, you may physically want to move or leave here, okay? However, you can tell me that you're wanting to take action to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship and become single because of this betrayal. However, you could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal because you don't want to be single and maybe you're wanting to put it behind you guys. Capricorn, you have the Ace of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So new love, new start to love, or a blessing here for you, Capricorn. 
Clarify the Ace of Cups for Capricorn. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Capricorn. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Capricorn, everything has come to a screeching halt here. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Capricorn. It is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there is a secret. Clarify the moon for Capricorn. Clarify the moon for Capricorn. Clarify the moon for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation here or you're blocking communication. Now listen, you know, you can tell me that you're using your intuition after you guys have gone stagnant on whether or not you want to start new. You're just stuck here, okay? Maybe needing to make a decision here. However, you can tell me, listen, some type of secret came out about them having new love and this is the reason why you've gone stagnant with them and you're blocking communication. You just want to be out of here. Capricorn, you have the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory, but this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using the sword to sever. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the Ace of Swords. For Capricorn, clarify the Ace of Swords. For Capricorn, it is clarified with temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So listen, Capricorn could be dealing with a Sag, but you can tell me, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise and negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarify temperance. For Capricorn, clarified temperance. For Capricorn, clarified temperance. For Capricorn, it is clarified with the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea. The news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So listen, Capricorn, you could be receiving passionate messages. You could be sending out passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Or this is a heated discussion or argument. Clarify the page of wands for Capricorn. Clarify the page of wands for Capricorn. Clarify the page of wands 
for Capricorn. It is clarified with the High Priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Capricorn. Clarify the high priestess for Capricorn. Clarify the high priestess for Capricorn. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lusts, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself and hold yourself back from something. So listen, Capricorn could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself and holding yourself back or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Capricorn. Clarify strength for Capricorn. Clarify strength for Capricorn. It is clarified with you, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, the king of pentacles. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. So Capricorn, this is you. Clarify the king of pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the king of pentacles for Capricorn. What about Capricorn? What about Capricorn? Clarify the King of Pentacles for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Seven of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing here. You can tell me that there's some confusion. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. Now, listen, you know, you can tell me that you're using your intuition. You're kind of stuck here needing to make a decision. So you need to make a choice here and trying to muster the strength and courage to make a choice because it very well could be that this person is reaching out to you with passionate messages, wanting to heal things, mend things, work things out, coming in with this cup of love and you're stuck here. But you could also tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity that they had other options. There was some type of lies or illusions here. You found these passionate messages and heard the news of them sharing passion. And so you're kind of restraining yourself from this person because the secret is coming out and you're going stagnant with them. Hmm. But, mm, 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 mm. you know, it just makes me feel like you're wanting to use this sword to sever because... You're looking at your other options here. It's like you don't want to deal with them anymore. Like you just want to move on. Okay, you're blocking anything that they're saying. And you may be wanting to explore your other options here. Capricorn, you have the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me there's a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument, or someone was out being a player are getting cookies somewhere clarify the knight of wands for capricorn clarify the knight of wands for capricorn clarify the knight of wands for capricorn it is clarified with the three of pentacles 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So listen, Capricorn, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that there was some type of an agreement or a contract collaboration, or there was a third party. Now, Capricorn, this could all be work or business, dealing with a contract, agreement, collaboration, and there's this rushing in, going off, going ham, passionately with a heated discussion or argument over these coins here. However, you can tell me that someone is out being a player. The thing is, was this betrayal? calls because they were out being a player with a third party yeah but you yourself could be exploring your options here now okay after you're saying you know what i'm done with you i just want to move on i'm blocking you i don't want to make up here maybe you're looking at your other options here okay listen capricorn this will happen in the next 48 hours for january the 15th through january the 16th 2023 you guys give me feedback subscribe like comment and share and follow me on twitter at her immortal madge m-a-j and i will see you guys next week peace